Hello guys, welcome back to another video. James and the Blue Engine 31 here giving some updates on a project I've been working on for a long time and that is SSR Rangers. Now if you um, follow me on Scratch you may have heard about this before. But SSR Rail Tales is a series I'm gonna do and it's been in production for a long, long time, and I mean a really long time. And it has quite the production history behind it, and there's a lot of changes I've made to it over, over the time. I was hoping to discuss this on Scratch, but I, the original project had saving problems, so I'm going to be doing it here. This is a very useful project, I think, and the one I need to do because um not well, it's not a project it's a video <laughs> um this is an important video i think i need to do and um i want to give some updates on this project and get people really run down with what i'm going to do so without further ado let's get started so i think i'm going to begin with the history of ssr rail tales but first, let's give you a brief summary. I'm going to give a brief, brief summary about what it is. So, SSR Reality Tales is a series I am going to do with um, fan main characters I've made. They're not fan main characters, they're original characters that I have made. As you can see, they're all here. I made these characters myself. So, so um, they're created by me. And they're very much my own creation. So, it's a series about these characters. And here are the two main ones, Jameson and Daniel. So, without further ado, I think it's time we get into discussing the history of the series. So, originally, long ago, this series was going to be Northwestern Railway Rail Tales. And you guessed it, it was going to be a Twisted Tank Engine original series. Um, I decided to throw in some random uh, characters that I created in the series. Um, as well as some of my online friends as OC. So I did get permission to use for the series, so don't worry about that. But the series was so... F so there were so many episodes about all these original characters whether it be ones that I have made up, like characters I have created, or other people's OCs, um, it was largely mainly about them. So I originally scrapped that idea and decided to revamp the series called SSR and make it SSR Tales. And make a completely new series about these characters. Now, Northwestern Railway Tales is still going to be coming it just won't feature all these character uh, characters that I have created or other people's like sees. Um, the first episode for that is going to be coming I have dropped a teaser for it um, if you make sure to check that out the link will be in the description below um, so yeah so this new series will be called SSR Rail Tales standing for the South Southern Railway Rail Tales. Um, and would focus on original characters made by me, like characters I have created, like all these guys here, but would also focus on some some of my online friends' um, characters they create in nature. Again, I did get permission to use. So that was how I was envisioning the series for while. It was going to be a series made up of episodes like a TV series styled thing and I did manage to create two episodes for it and as well as multiple test footage however I thought this original version of SSR Rail Tales was, wasn't really my own and I felt like I didn't have much control over it and it wasn't my own so I eventually decided to scrap all that and um Just make it entirely about my characters that I have created, about my characters and no one else's, which I think was a good decision as 
Um, I felt, I, I also felt like if I used other people's OCs in my series, which again I did get permission to use, um, I felt like they wouldn't have any say in the situation those characters would be put in or how they were used. So I originally decided to scrap all that. Now, um, this is what I call SSR Railtails the early years. That is what I'm calling the original version of SSR Railtails, which I described earlier. And, if you do not know already, um, I will be releasing the test footage and uh, original two episodes I made under the title SSR Railtails the early years. So that some stuff from the original version of SSR Railtails that I actually got to creating will come out soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And everything. And he's meant to be like that kind of villain who's very silly and comedic. Well, not a comedic villain, but he's so over the top and um, and he's like... He wants... So when Jameson and, and Daniel arrive at the beach, little to though, them, they know it's like... They barely know it's like really abandoned and no one really goes to it often. The manager of the beach sees there's an opportunity that he could use these engines to make a massive theme park attraction and make him a lot of money. And they'll be like the first like rail like roller coasters on there and they'll like he'll travel and he'll make them all travel. So he so he gets the idea to use them for theme park attractions, worldwide theme park attractions, like world tour theme park attractions. And when he's done with them, he'll scrap them. And James and Daniel obviously do not want to have this fate. They want to go home. So they start out the beach having fun, you know, getting to snagging, shenanigans. And they come across the man at first. They, f they go to this stool and knock on the, the door for the man. He doesn't respond because he but he's like asleep but he wakes up and then they've already gone with them but he peeks out and sees that James and Daniel and then envisions what he can do with them and then the rest and then he tries to get them and fix all the things that they've done to the beach like made uh, sand castles and stuff like that well they can't make sand castles they're, castles, they're driving fireman has but They've, like, some impacts of them going to the beach have, like, affected the beach, like, making, like, marks and sand and stuff like that. And he tries to, like, perfect it all because he's, like, a very big businessman. And then he start, and then when he find, and then he f realizes what he can do with them. As I said before, he goes on the hunt to try and find them. Um, I'm not going to say any more because I don't really want to spoil the ending, so, yeah. It's a nice little, uh, simple story about, um, these two engines going to the beach, really, and having shagans here. Um, I will go more behind the scenes history of this, because there is some history surrounding it. But I'm not going to really say any more because I don't want to spoil it. It's a nice little story about the type, and it, it very expertly showcases the types of people in the world. I'll get to work on it soon. I, I've made, of course, the villain. I need to make the set now. I need to make the sets and the big, particularly the big aeroplane, and um, then write the script, and then I can begin shooting. As for the sequel, it's much more ambiguous for me. This orange engine here has an involvement in it very strong involvement and this engine here as well this engine you may not from scratch is Lucy James's girlfriend but he d he, he doesn't start out that way in the series Lucy's introduced in the far future I don't know when but she will like be sometime after the second film I'm not the second film I think is my fate for one that I've come up for around here for um, but I'm not going to say anything about it because it's just going to be so... I'm so excited for it and I'm excited for the first one too. So yeah, I'm not really going to say anything about the second movie until the first movie's come out. So that's really all. I think this was an important video to make. Because I feel... Because I want people to know about 
this series before I go into releasing all this stuff. So, I'll see you guys next time, and bye now.